All right, today we're going to talk about five ways to increase speed on your Amazon Fire Stick. Let's get to step number one. All right, guys, got you set up in on the screen here. So the first step you're going to want to do is to close all your applications and restart your Fire Stick. To do this is very, very simple. You're gonna wanna do this on a regular basis to keep your Fire Stick optimized, okay? To close them all and restart it is all done in just one simple step. All right, so if you head over to your My Fire TV, two things you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna put it to sleep or restart it at least every day, okay? So sleep every day, I restart mine every couple days just to make sure it's optimized and it closes all the background applications that are currently running on it, okay? So what I usually do is put it to sleep at night and every couple days I restart it or you can unplug it from the wall if that's easier for you. Um, if you have your Fire Stick plugged in directly to your TV, all you'll need to do is hit the power button on your TV or your Fire Stick remote and it will turn off it's the same as restarting your Fire Stick, so that will work as well. All right, let's go ahead and restart our Fire Stick right now, and this will close all the applications and bring it right back to where you need to be. So go ahead and do restart. All right, now that we have restarted the Fire Stick, as you can see, it was very, very fast to do so. If you had a lot of applications running and have not restarted or put your Fire Stick to sleep any time within the last few weeks, it, you, will may, you may notice that your restart process will be much, much slower. Imagine your Fire Stick also being slow while you're using it. And that is one of the number one reasons why a lot of Fire Sticks are slow is because you have not restarted it. Now that we restarted it, we can move on to step number two. All right, step number two is probably the easiest step of all, but it is one that a lot of people don't realize how important it is, okay? Deleting unwanted applications. I know we get excited with these fire sticks and we wanna download stuff like crazy. Left and right, we're downloading everything we can. Well, what you don't realize is these fire sticks and fire cubes only have so much space on them, okay? And when you get closer to filling up that space, it will slow down or bog down your Fire Stick, okay? Just like a computer will when you start to fill it up or your phone does when you start to fill it up, you've probably experienced one of those. And a lot of people don't realize that if you do not delete unwanted applications, they may be running in the background or taking resources away from applications that you do want to use. So let's get right to it, guys. How do you delete those applications that you do not want? Very simple. Again, it's in the settings section. You're going to go over to applications, okay? Once you've clicked on the applications, go down to manage installed applications. All right, go through your applications and decide which ones you do not want, okay? So I can already tell you I don't want Hungry Shark. I downloaded this just for the purpose of deleting it for you because I want all the cap the applications that I have on my Fire Cube right now um, because I regularly try new applications and delete them if I don't want them. So let's delete Hungry Shark. Very simple to do that. Just click on it. Head down here, you can either clear the cache on it if you want to keep it, which you should do on a regular basis. We'll talk about that as well. Or you can uninstall it right here. You can do this with each and every one of your applications, and I encourage you to clear your cache regularly on them. So like TV Tap Express, I want to clear my cache. Boom, I just saved up space right there by clearing that. 
All right, so let's go ahead and delete an application. Go ahead, manage installed, head over to your Hungry Shark or whatever application you don't want, and you can just click uninstall. Are you sure? Uninstall. Yes, you will. It will free up space on your Fire Stick and it will optimize your Fire Stick. Very easy step. I just wanted to go over this really, really quick. Go through your manage installed applications. Ones you don't want or don't need, go ahead and delete them. Get rid of them. You don't need them. There's no reason to bog down your resources. And this is step number two to speed up your Amazon Fire Stick. Now let's get to step number three. All right, step number three. This is the most important step of all. If you've gotten to this point in the video, congratulations. This is really where you're gonna optimize your Amazon Fire Stick. It is by setting your preferences properly and limiting automation. So let me show you how to do that. Again, it's gonna be in the settings section. However, this time there's two sections you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to. There's going to be the preferences, all right, right here and the My Fire TV. Those are the two sections that we're gonna talk about right here now. So let's go to preferences. Now preferences is very, very important because preferences will determine what runs in the background, what is accessed in the background, and what really slows your Fire Stick down while running and you don't even know it. So let's go first to the privacy settings, okay? Now, in this particular section, this is all about privacy, but what you may not realize is it's also running in the background, collecting information on what you're doing consistently and sending it out. It's also pushing to you ads based on your interests. So things that you're looking at online, they'll push ads to you. It will pop up on your screen. May not even realize it, guys. Make sure all of these are off. So let's turn them off right now. Data you, Device usage data off. Collect app usage off. Interest-based ads absolutely off. Okay, all three of these are now off. That is your first step. Now let's head down to data monitoring, okay? So your privacy is set to off. Your data monitoring now needs to be off as well. I've already done it on here. Make sure yours is off. I do believe that out of the box it is set to on. So make sure that's off. Notification settings is the next section. Make sure do not interrupt is on, okay? Because those are notification pop-ups. Now app notifications, as you can see, these are all the ones that are set to on right now, but we've turned it on by saying do not interrupt. If you want to, you can do each of these to off. That is completely up to you. But if you set do not interrupt here, you should be fine. All right, next section is featured content. Allow video autoplay. Now this is something that a lot of people don't realize. When you're browsing around on your Fire Stick, it's kind of nice to have that little video and audio of the TV show that you're highlighting play at the top of the screen. But what you don't realize is that's using a lot of your resources, your internet resources, your internet speed resources, as well as Fire Stick processing resources. It's not as big of a deal on your Fire TV Cube as it would be on the Fire Stick because the Fire Cube has a faster processor and more storage space. So it will run perfectly fine on, on a Cube. However, if you have a Fire Stick, you're gonna wanna turn both of these off. And you can even turn it off on the Fire Cube if you want, because it will definitely speed that up as well. So make sure both of these are off on your featured content and that will speed up your Fire Stick as well. Now those are all the automations and those are the preferences that you want set on in your preferences section of settings. Now let's go to My Fire TV, okay? Now here what you're gonna wanna look at strictly is the developer options section, okay? This is gonna wanna be on and your in, um, Install unknown apps needs to be on as well. So make sure each of these are set to on. Uh, in, in a Fire Stick itself, you don't have to go to the individual applications. If you just set the uh, unknown apps on, it'll just be one little quick little button. And your ADB debugging also needs to be on. This way you can actually access other applications that will improve your Fire Stick in so many ways. So this is just a developer option for the pure enjoyment of being able to download something from the Google Play Store, not just the Amazon Store. And if you've done your preferences settings properly, you won't have any problem playing any of them, okay? So I just wanted to share this with you. This is step number three, it is how to set your preferences and limit automation on your Amazon Fire Stick.
All right, now to step number four. So step number four is an optional step, guys. This will depend entirely upon where your TV is located. Is it fairly close to your router? Within, say, 15 to 25 feet of your router, then this might be an option for you to increase your speed of your Fire Stick. Not the processing speed, but the actual streaming speed, which causes a lot of buffering. A lot of you like to stream uh, pretty much anything onto your Fire Stick, and this is the way to do it right here, guys. This is called an Ethernet adapter. What it does is it has an, a Cat5 connection right here, so you can actually run a cable like this right here from your router directly to your Fire Stick by connecting through one of these Ethernet adapters. Another video on explaining how to do that with step-by-step -step guides. This will increase your streaming speed significantly. I know a lot of my subscribers like to stream sports or TV or movies. Well, this will increase that speed and eliminate a lot of your buffering issues that you are encountering. This is completely an optional one. This will increase your streaming, not necessarily the regular use of your Fire Stick, but that is a big part of your Fire Stick, is the streaming of data. So I wanted to share this with you guys. This Ethernet adapter is only about $15, and you can get a cable if you don't already have one for five, $6. Uh, so for $20, you are up and running with a significantly power-boosted Fire Stick. So I just wanted to share that with you. That is step number four. Now the final step. All right, the final step to make sure that your Fire Stick is optimized properly and it will speed your experience is to restart your Fire Stick. It seems like a simple step, but anytime you make changes to any electronic device, it's always a good idea to restart it. Just like a computer, when you add a program or delete a program or update a program, you always want to reboot your computer. Think of the Fire Stick as a computing device. It has a processor. It does all the same things that a computer will do just on your TV. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and restart it. Once you've restarted it, you will notice a significant increase in your speed, in your processing, in the maneuverability around your Fire Stick. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a very quick one. I just wanted to show you all the steps from beginning to end and what you need to do to increase speed on your Amazon Fire Stick. Thanks for watching. Bye.